Hello, Adam Rogers with Rogers Honey. We had several customers asking about winterizing their hives. Uh, so I wanted to do another a video on that. We did one earlier. We don't usually make very many videos. So this is our second video, same thing. We're just gonna go through it all one more time on another hive we got sitting right beside the first one. So let's get started. It's um, October 29th. We've already had a frost. It's staying pretty warm. Uh, by now we won't, we'll have uh, no nectar flow. So it's a fine time to go ahead and start getting winterization ready. It gives us some time, at least the month of November, to do some feeding if it needs to be done. Right here what we have is three, a three deep hive. You may have three deeps or you may have two deeps and one honey super medium and that's fine too. We just, on this area, we've used uh, deeps for our honey supers. So here's what I'm expecting to find. I'm expecting to open up this hive and find honey primarily at the top, the bees and the larvae right here in the middle, and mostly just worker bees at the bottom. We're going to smoke them, and so that will push the bees down a little bit. But our goal is to reduce this hive down to a two deep hive with all with bees in the bottom and honey at top. We're looking to say we're looking at needing say seven to eight full frames of honey. Um, there's going to be a lot of stray bees as we keep going in this. Don't worry about that. In this bottom deep, by the time we get there, we'll push a lot of worker bees down there. And don't worry, we'll shake those into our new hive, and then whatever's left will go in there by, by evening. So let's get started. I'm going to have a quick shot inside the hive here, Dominic. Again, we're looking at, looks... From, from my observation, it looks pretty good. We're looking at almost every frame on this deep being full of honey. That's going to be a heavy deep, but it's going to be a great deep for, for winterizing. I'm not even going to tear into this. It looks so good. I'm just going to take it off and set it aside. I'm going to feel the weight. If it doesn't feel heavy enough, I'll tear into it and have a look and see how deep those frames are pretty good probably about 70 pounds so all right so here's our medium and at this point in the year this should be where our life of the hive is we've had our first frost i don't see any drones they've been kicked out i would assume by now either way our colony has definitely been um going down in size there's no nectar bloom so let's see what we have just to see what we've got. I, what I expect to find is some brood. And uh, I'll check that brood pattern. As long as I find what I'm looking for, I'm not going to worry about it too much and I'll move on to the next layer. Sure enough, sure enough we got some good cat brood. I see eggs and larvae of all ages. I know we got a good working queen looking hive this is a particularly good looking hive it looks like it's got actually a decent amount of honey storage on the side here in these side frames that looks wonderful I'm gonna go ahead and remove it set it off to the side and check my bottom deep and remember my goal my goal is to make this my new bottom and remove that bottom deep from the hive completely first glance you're going to look like you have a lot of hives in this bottom deep but it's probably mostly due to you bugging the hive and pushing the bees down with your smoke or interference. We'll know when we pull a frame or two. Don't be surprised if you find one frame with a little, maybe two frames with a little broom towards the center of your hive. A lot of pollen, not many bees, that's great. Pull one more. Looks good. 
just as we expect. You can stand back, don't we? All right. This is as we expected. I'm going to remove this box and put this one in the bottom. Put our, our media, what was our, our uh, middle, into the bottom. Shake these bees and then put our top back on. Putting our previous middle on the bottom for our larvae and, and uh, laying goes on. It's going to be a little, it'll look a little messy as we shake these bees into there, but what we're double doing is we're double checking we don't have any brood in what was our bottom bee. heavy with a lot of good honey in it. Now, I didn't find any fruit or any honey in our previous bottom. I shook out the majority of the bees. The ones that are left, are left, will go into the hive tonight. Let me cool it down. So that's it. This unit has enough honey. You won't have to add any sugar. Now, our entrance is pretty well closed because it's on a pallet and the pallets aren't ever open much. What we're going to do now is leave this unit alone. We'll take our marker, mark the date on it that it was winterized, and that'll be it. However, we'll keep an eye on it, but we'll make sure in late February, and then twice in March or so, and then in early April, we'll check it and make sure, make sure that our honey frames are close together. By then, the bees will have consumed a considerable amount of honey on the frames. We want to make sure that as they get consumed, we move those empty frames off to the side. And move the frames with honey and keep them close together. So that they, the bees can transition from frame to frame and won't get froze out on a cold day. That's it. Thanks.